Workshop 6 Digital Painting Hi, this workshop, um, I expect everyone thought we were going to do something about uh, working on a computer because it was digital, but it's actually about our fingers and uh, digits. So um, I've been working on a picture here where I've been transferring fingerprints to start building up an image of a grapevine. But I'm actually going to show you um, a larger version on this pad here. Uh, during the workshops you may have noticed that um, all the containers that I use are um, recycled things from food containers. So again, don't go out and buy a lot of containers. Look at what you're using in your kitchen and uh, recycle them as I do. Now when I work on the on this uh, finger painting I've got some three different colours on a small palette and I'm going to use different fingers to create different size shapes but I'm also going to dip my finger into more than one colour at a time. So you notice that I'm not worried that sometimes there's not much paint on my fingers because it will actually give the picture more depth. So when I would do a darker one, I'm going to lay it across the lighter ones so that you'll see that the, they go into the background a bit more. Now keep dipping my finger into each colour. And I'm getting a nice random effect with the shades and the colours and you'll see that I'm also, the way I'm pushing my finger down, I'm actually getting a highlighting blob every time I lift, press and lift up. So it looks like the light's shining on part of the grape. I'm just going to add a few more. Right, now I've got the bunch of grapes. Um, I'm going to try and create something like a, a grapevine. And um, I've gone back to the garden and found one of these leaves with the deep veins on it again. And all I'm going to do is to lay it in my paint and put it back on the picture. and basically see what happens. I lay it round the grapes, press it on. It doesn't matter that the paint's arriving outside the leaf because that will give more interest to the picture. Right, ready? Now that's a very pleasant effect. Right, now I'm beginning to really enjoy myself, so I'm going to take the same leaf, but to make life a bit more interesting, I'm going to place it into um, my plate that has three different colours on it now, and lay it inside the plate, press it down. Get some of the colours. And then I'm going to position this one lower down on the page. And just press it so that the ink the paint actually sticks to the page. I've overlapped it slightly as well so that it becomes part of the grapes. I say don't worry if it emerges from, it just adds to the picture. And that's a very nice effect down here where the green and the purple have mixed, merged in together.
I've decided to come back to my quill now because I would like to add some of those lovely tendrils that you get on grapevines so hopefully this will give me some lovely yes that's working well that's the effect that I wanted and I have some more over here and a stalk I could um, carry on doing these tendrils actually for quite a long time because they do have quite a lot and also I might um, emphasize some of these veins with the color just to bring it give it a bit more depth but I've got it all marked out here beautifully so I can just work on it and build up depth into this picture and complete it later on however this is the last of the six uh, techniques that I've showed you and my challenge to you now is to produce an image that uses all the techniques that we have seen over the last six workshops. You may decide that the dough art one doesn't fit in too well so you can leave that one out if you wish but all the others I'd like you to try in one image. Can't wait to see it. <laughs>